On the 1st of January 2023, the rules of golf are being updated. Today I'm going to explain the key changes. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. The RNA and the USGA last updated the rules of golf in 2019 and that was a pretty massive overhaul of the rules. But on the 1st of January 2023 these rules are getting an update and today I want to talk about the five key changes they're making and what the changes are. But first let's talk about why they need to make these changes. Well these organisations recognise the need for modernisation, inclusion and sustainability. So for example the rules for disabled golfers are being incorporated into the main rules. You know, that these organisations recognise that we're entering scores on our mobile phones now and you can get digital access to the rules via the apps. So you don't need one of these books. They make four million of these books. So if they can get rid of the production and distribution of those, that's going to be great for offsetting some carbon footprint. If you go to the Open or a major golf tournament nowadays, there's lots of sustainability measures there. There's free water, you take your own bottle, they're reducing plastic waste, so that's really good. They're also reducing some of the penalties and making the language in the rule book a lot clearer for everybody to understand. So let's have a look at the first change. So the first major change is that the rules for disabled golfers are finally being incorporated into the main rules of golf. For the last 25 years there's been a local rule that a club could adopt it or it could choose not to. Now new rule 25 allows golfers with varying disabilities to compete against golfers with different disabilities or no disabilities. So an example of that might be now a golfer who's blind can have somebody mark and align their shot for them. I think that's a really good change. Well this next change means if you damage your club during the course of play you can repair it or replace it. Okay, you can't do that if you do it through abuse, but if you accidentally damage your club, you can have it repaired or replaced. Now, I get the point of this, and I think it'll be very helpful at the top end of the game, you know, the pros and maybe elite amateurs, but we've not all got a spare set of clubs in the locker. If I'm out on the 11th tee, there's no way I'm running back for a new driver. So I get the change, but I don't think it's going to be that helpful or make that much difference to most of us. This next change is all about modernisation. There is now no longer a need in stroke play to write your handicap on the scorecard. Now, if we're using the World Handicap System, if you put in all your cards in, your handicap can change all the time. So people might not know their exact handicap. If you got it wrong or you didn't write it on before, you got disqualified. So now you won't get disqualified. And I think this makes sense. When we play competition here at Fulford, I get a little sticker on my scorecard from the pro that tells me the event, the date, my name obviously, and what my handicap is. Or if you put it in a computer or via your phone, you know, you're entering your scores digitally and that will tell you what your handicap is. It's the responsibility of the committee of the club to calculate the handicaps, but you no longer have to write your handicap on your scorecard. Oh no! Okay, so sadly, I've rinsed my approach shot here on the 17th hole at Fulford Golf Club into the back. It's not the first time, I'm sure it won't be the last. That's Bernard Langer's tree right there, by the way. Anyway, under the new rules, what can I do? Well, I can drop the ball in line from where the ball's come to rest in the back and the flag stick as far back as I like. But there's not a lot new about that, is there? But what is new is when I drop the ball, as long as that ball doesn't move, more than one club length in any direction. That one actually went about five inches forward. I'm in play. Under the old rules, if the ball went forward, you had to redrop it. But why? I've already brought it back from where it's come to rest, so I'm not getting any advantage. So I think that's a really good rule change. Just so everyone's really clear on this back on line rule as well. I played my approach shot from the left-hand side of the fairway over there, as you can see from the yellow line in this diagram. You don't drop the ball in line with where it went in. You drop the ball in line with where it's come to rest and the flag stick. That was off a downhill line as well. Another rule that's changed that's really handy to understand is if after you've taken a drop, so let's say my ball's finished in the penalty area and I decide I'm going to drop it there, let's say I go and get my club out of the bag and natural forces, so say it's windy, blows that ball to anywhere else on the course, even into the penalty area again, even out of bounds, I can now retrieve that ball, agree with my playing partners whereabouts it was and replace it 
with no penalty. Now that makes sense. That's not bad before breakfast, is it? Okay, so they're the five key updates to the rules of golf. They're gonna take effect from the 1st of January, 2023. It's really important that you understand the rules and the etiquette of golf, or at least have a good grasp of the fundamentals. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a like. If you really enjoyed it, give us a subscribe. There's a new episode drop on The Golf Show every Monday. Why not follow and interact with us on our social media channels? The details are coming up next. Okay, that's all from me. We'll see you next time on The Golf Show. Hi, I'm Paul. I've had a haircut and this is The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.